Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, this is Steve with Black Fly. Tonight we're gonna whip up a thing. Got a size 12 jig hook, 3.8 copper slotted tungsten. I want that bead to ride high like that. Thread, burnt orange. It's like a copper, it's got a sheen to it. I'm really digging this thread. So I'll just put down a little bit. This is uh, a 1.5. Lead wire, stick a piece of lead in there. And then I will just make my lead wraps. Okay, so next we're just gonna just build a real small tapered body. Gonna tie well into the band here. I'm gonna stop out right there. First thing I'm gonna tie in is some span flex. So I've just got one strand here. Take and just fold it over the thread like that. And we'll just wrap that down. So now we're gonna cut that piece off. I'm gonna save this piece right here for our front legs. Okay, so next I've got some generic stretch cord here. It's made for necklaces, but it's really stretchy. You can get it really thin and it's super durable. And it's, best of all, it's really super cheap and you get like 4,000 feet of it for making your tube bodies. The thing that I like about it is that any, you can put any color thread you want under this and it's gonna, it's gonna show through. I like to take and just take a lighter. Just burn that kind of. Flatten that tip out a little bit, and what I'll do is I'll take and I'll trim it. And that gives me a real fine tie-in point. And I'm just gonna catch the tip of that. This stuff is extremely durable. It's very tough, so you can stretch on it. Okay, so next I've got some beautiful ostrich hurl. Isn't that just kind of satisfying? And what you want to do is you just want to print as many of those fibers as you can, like so. And just hold them and then just do you know, a couple wraps like that. Should something look something like that. Ha <laughs> just kidding, you guys know me. Okay, we're gonna take one strand of ostrich churl. And I'm gonna tie it in at the butt end so that way it gets thicker as we work forward. Right behind that lead. Those lead wraps. Wrap this back to our flexible tubing. And then we're gonna bring our thread forward about right there. Then go ahead and give it just a half hitch. I'm just give it a our two turn whip finish, whichever is easier for you guys. And we will swing our cradle around, hang that over the cradle. We're gonna grab our flexible tubing. We're gonna use the rotary on our vise. And we're just gonna do touching wraps here. Keep looking at the camera and catching that hook point. Okay, we're gonna stop about. Yeah, right, that, that looks awesome. That's that's the real life fly tying right there. <laughs> Coming for me live. Okay, take two. We're gonna grab our tube. We're gonna put quite a bit of tension on it. And we're gonna wrap it forward. Stop about right there. Then we're gonna catch that with our thread. Stretch that, trim that as close as we can. We're gonna grab our peacock curl. And we're gonna wrap it inside each segment. So wrap it the same direction. I 
I should have grabbed my hackle pliers. I don't have enough to work with here. But we'll make it work. Give that a couple wraps. So in front. Okay, so next we're gonna grab our piece of span flex. And we're gonna leave the long end, the lo you want the long end facing forward. Just give it a loose wrap and then, so that way we can adjust it. Right now, so you can see. So then we're just gonna loop it around leaving enough for our front leg to be the same length. Give it a couple just loose wraps so you can adjust it. And we'll go ahead and cinch that down. Okay, and next we've got some orange. This is UV ice dub. You wanna use at least that much. Like, you don't wanna mess around. Just kidding. Some ways in your fingers. You can use wax or spit. I'm just gonna spin up a dubbing noodle here. I wanna be pretty generous because this is gonna create kind of like a thorax. Then we're gonna wrap first between these legs, kind of build that up. And next we center those and you can trim the legs to length. I like the front ones to be shortest and then the second ones are just a tad longer. And I'm not getting scientific here, guys. I just want it to look buggy, you know, so it doesn't look like something stupid to the fish. Don't go. We still got a couple cool more steps I want to show you guys. So I'm just going to give that a five turn whip finish. And again, you guys can trim the legs however you like. Okay, next we're gonna take some UV clear. Um, this is thick. We're gonna create a little, almost like a wing casing. The UV light is dead. So here's a little life, life hack. See these E-circuit alkaline batteries? So these scientists did a study and you can pick these batteries up in a four pack at the dollar store. And they found that these batteries last almost as long as the Energizer and the Duracell. Much better. Now we can cure that. So I just added a little bit more of the UV just to kind of create a little bigger wing casing. And I know this fly rides inverted like this. Um, but honestly, I forgot, and I don't really don't think it matters much. But we'll just cure that. And then I'm going to take a black marker. And if you're fancy, and you have black UV resin. But I'm not fancy. I'm poor. And then what I'll do with that is I'll give that a really thin coat of, uh, this is UV thin. And then again, we will cure that with our UV light. And that is the fly, guys. It is a fish catcher. Uh, it's just buggy. Um, and I'm shining the UV light on it right now, but what do, you think, what do you think it imitates best? So comment what you guys think this imitates best. Crayfish, stonefly, some sort of nymph, or is it just buggy? Let me know in the comments. Thanks, guys. You guys take care. This is Steve from Blackfly signing out. Thanks so much for watching.